Right, so I've just come on. It's a Sunday. I've just popped up in the uh, up in the shack. Uh, there's a little bit of ca little bit of activity on uh, 275555. But I'm not really in the mood for a bit of DX to be honest. So a bit of a bit of a sore throat. So I've basically come down onto the one nine, and uh, yeah, just sort of come on. And I've I've caught um, Pucker Dave, who's got another new radio. Every time I come on, the guy's got a new radio. Bless him. So um, yeah, we're just gonna do a little radio check for him in a minute. I think Johnny's on there as well. A few others have like come on. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd do a little bit of video, and he'll explain to you what radio he's got, and it's got had quite a bit of mod work done to it. He's just had it back. Um, sounds like he spent quite a bit of money on this. Uh, it's a classic radio, but I'll let him introduce it uh, when he comes on. Yeah, it's nice to hear you anyway, there, uh, Fred. You know, for a while, and uh, I've been chatting to. Uh, I've been chatting to um, uh, Jez, but he's, I think he's on holidays going away uh, next week, so he won't be about, but he's taking his gear with him, Rog. Yeah, Roger, Dave, I'm back now. OK, are you uh, all set up, ready for me to have yes. a chat? Yeah, that's a Roger Dave. So I've just introduced you on camera. I've just explained that you've got yourself a nice classic radio and you've uh, spent spent a small fortune on it with all your mods. So I'll hand it over to Pucker Dave now, who's going to explain what radio he has and what he's had done to it. So uh, over to you, Dave. Yeah, well, I thought it second hand, obviously, Fred. So it's got a, uh, it's already got a Texas Ranger. It's a Cobra 148, by the way. Texas Ranger, um uh, frequency counter on it uh, and all, all fixed up but it weren't sort of working as it should do so uh, I sent it to um, uh, Black Spirit there who's a good freak doctor in Wales there and uh, he's given an alignment he's, uh, he's replaced the AM FM power regulator on it give it a little tune up Put a 10 kc switch on the uh, on the channel 9 switch. The Roger Bleep uh, is on the tone switch, so you can switch that on and off. And also, it's got the uh, UK uh, the UK uh, FM 2781 on uh, with the proper readout on it. So it's channel 19 now 278125. And then it also goes from 26065, that's channel 1 on the lows, uh, low lows, to 27415, channel 1, up to 27855. So it's got quite a, it's got quite a, uh, quite a spread on it, and hopefully I'm using an aesthetic teardrop mic with it as well. So hopefully it uh, is coming across okay to uh, everybody who's listening there. So I'm real pleased with it at the moment. Roger, Dave. Yeah, we got all that. Should have all that in camera now. I know it's a uh, Cobra 148. What is the exact model? Over. Yeah, it's the 148 GTL DX Mark II. There, it's got the PBO10 board in it, so it's the usual. Uh, I think it's got the MC145106 chip in it, so you can modify them better than you can with the uh, the Mark Ones, which have got a different board in there, Fred. Roger, Dave. Well, I wouldn't know, Dave, but it's, it sounds like you know pretty much all about it. So, how how is it cosmetically? Has it had a new uh, new case front on it, Dave, and a repaint, or was that okay when you got it over? No, the cases are fine. There's a little bit of blistering on the um, little bit of blistering on the um, on the bezel. I've got actually. I bought two um, two front faces um, quite a while back because I've got another one for eight um, in the cupboard there that's been uh, done years ago by Colin in Stevenage there. So uh, I. While I was at it, I bought two front fascias, so I've got another spare front fascia, and I've also got a uh, a bezel which is, <laughs> believe it or not, in a bucket of bleach, which has been in there for about a month, and the uh, the uh, chrome on it is slowly coming off because that was a bit naff the chrome. So when that is all off, I'll clean it up and then I'm going to get some plastic primer and, well, rub it down and very, 
gently and that. And I'm now I'm going to get some either, I don't know what colour I'm going to paint the bezel, but I'm going to get some plastic coat paint and spray the bezel, put the new front on. And uh, yeah, I've got the uh, I've got the nylon uh, washers that go behind the knobs there, so it so it won't scratch the uh, fascia there. So it'll look uh, it'll look uh, quite nice when I've finished it. Sounds fantastic, Dave. Sounds like you're going to a lot of trouble. It's almost like you're restoring an old car. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant, Dave. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you, perhaps maybe you can, uh, you know, put a picture up or something on Facebook when I get this video up. So let the guys uh, have a look at it. But yeah, I mean, classic rigs. Um, you know, never, never own one. Maybe one day. But it's getting quite hard now, isn't it, to find an unmolested example or one that's been properly tuned and... Uh, Fantastic, Dave. So, was that? Um, was you speaking to uh, Johnny Jaffa Cake earlier, Dave? Yeah, Roger. He's gone up to Channel Twenty One with uh, Tim. There, he's been on holiday, Tim. So he only come back yesterday. So uh, they've. Um, uh,